Uh, hey, we're back. Uh, I'm not sure. It seems all the settings are default, so... I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I can do. I'll have to look into it for next stream. Is it like super choppy or is it, is it still watchable? <laughs> If it's really bad, I'll, I'll see what I can do. But it could be... Uh, I am in uh, Malaysia, so... It could just be because of the fact that I'm on the opposite side of the world. Hmm. Yeah, it is hard to work and do art at the same time. It's like training both sides of my brain simultaneously. Holy shit, 15 FPS. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, anyway, how's everyone doing? Is everyone staying home? Like, like I am? <laughs> staying home, not getting sick, not going out, wiping, wiping saliva and licking bar stools. Yeah, I heard Russia was hit pretty badly. Hope things are getting better over there. In Malaysia, it seems pretty good. I, I think it, like the virus, uh, the virus is more, I would say it thrives more in colder climates, so. Malaysia, Malaysia hasn't been hit super hard as it's like permanent summer here. All right, uh, let's let's make a crest now. So turning on mask, solo mode, turn off symmetry, divide that in half, unworld groups border, auto groups, world points, clear mask. Let's check group loops. Your mask, so the all right. Uh, do, 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 do. What, what the fuck? I don't like that. Let's go select loops. There we go. Okay. that, smooth it, and we have some basic crests going down the middle. Seven days. Dang. 
Yeah, I've been in... I don't know how long I've been in quarantine. It's rough. <laughs> Maybe like... Yeah, about the same time. Maybe a little bit longer. I've been having uh, groceries delivered. This is actually if you could look here in Malaysia so I can afford small luxuries like that on an indie game developer's salary. When I was living in uh, San Francisco, I would never <laughs> would have never dreamed of having like food delivered. Like that shit's expensive, man. <laughs> Pfizer time. Let's. How is the Pfizer gonna go? Let's make a duplicate so I don't destroy the helmet. Like that. Slice curve. Uh, I should probably look at references, but I've, I've done this so many times before. That I'm like, just I guess I'll just like make something original. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you're starting out as a 3D model, it's always really good to look at references. Or if like anyone's interested in 3D modeling. secret about artists is that we're actually not original at all, or creative. We just steal ideas from other people <laughs> and then mash them up, put them through, through the meat processor, the grinder, and come up with something, something different. Making the visor is really fun because visors are what defines well, what gives character to to a helmet. It's one of the main things that you look at. Motorcycle visor, huh? yeah. It ain't broke, don't fix it. Motorcycle visors, motorcycle helmets, and medieval helmets have something in common, which is protect the head against crazy amounts of trauma. Hmm. Let's Make it symmetrical. Wait, I don't want the smooth groups on. No smoothing for you. This really is a slog. <laughs> wow, that took forever. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that looks, looks pretty good. But it is a bit too high poly. Too many polygons. I want uh, same polygons. The higher polygons, the more polygons you have, the more difficult it is to work with. What is going on there? Let's go remove this bit here and then Z remesh it again. I 
think that's let's give it a go again. Right, through the middle again, just so uh, all the edges are nice. All the geometry is nice. Okay, something's weird going on here. What is going on? Is there like too many? Uh, yeah, it must be like some sort of geometry here that's messing things up. I'm just gonna do that and then C modeler. Stitch this together. There isn't any like spray vertices here, is there? Oh, okay, we want delete, delete edge. There we go. Do that again. Looks good to me, I guess. How do you smooth it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so the geometry here is pretty good. All right, uh, next phase. Our, we need our crease back again. Oops, some trees on. There we go, group mask. Let's go mask by border. Then hit grow. Let's move that out. It's the blockhead monster. Wait, let's do mother. Go back and move. Move brush. Symmetry on. Yes, there we go. Let's get smooth that down to something. Resembling a visor. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How, how should this visor look? I sort of want to like sculpt some sort of crazy doodad on the on the front. Uh, something like uh, that metal can allow me to sculpt. Uh, this is just chilling. This isn't uh, Xanima. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not allowed to stream Xanima stuff. Well, unless like Maddox comes in the stream and says, "Hey, I want this. <laughs> I want this helmet. Give it to me." <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be like screaming Xenomo stuff. Hmm. I want this to be a double visor armet with uh with cheekbones here. Burn plates there and uh, I sort of want like an animal effigy on, on the front, kind of like a hound's nose or something, or something ridiculous but still cool looking. Um, let's see, maybe how about like a fish? I, I've never really sculpted anything with like fishes before. That could be cool. Or it could just be really bad. Um, who knows? Fish. How would a fish look? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sculpt the basic arm. It's, what time is it here? It's uh, 4.30. And I'm gonna... The board could be cool. Spider. Things. Eh. I'll, I'll do something a bit more complicated later. Yes, I can tell this is going to take up uh, time well into the morning. Sure, let's do that. Um, remesh, remesh, remesh. Right, cool. Let's go hide the top part. 
cinnamon, quick crepes, and let's see more there. Let's see more split that. Other groups, reference. Okay. Go back to quick curve. Two passes at this because my fingers are failing me. Alright, there we go. No, wait. No, it's still not good enough. Right, there we go. And let's buy. Let's buy everything. Fuck okay. it. Move that down. Alright, that's good enough now. Quick curve again. Oh yeah, by the way, Odin, if I don't know if you're still in <laughs> still in chat. But you come, uh, you should come over to the Discord. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Hey, where's Odin?" <laughs> They're like trying to vote you into the Insiders channel <laughs> if you wanted to be a part of that. Uh, will we be able to open closed visors of helms? Uh, Madoc and I talked about it, but. I think it was, I don't know, like it's one of those details that we want to put into Xanamba, but I don't know if we have the time to, and it's not especially high on the priority list, which is unfortunate because that would be really cool. But the good news is, um, since I sculpt pretty much every helmet in the proper way, the proper and holy way, uh, adding visors shouldn't be very hard because the insides are already sculpted and like the all the components are made as they would be in real life. It's only selecting one path. Oh, oh, okay. That was weird. But yeah, I would love to put like and visors. Liftable visors. That'd be so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was going to add the crest. Now that must buy groups. I want groups now. Invert. Track that a bit. Also add some masking. Just a bit so it's not like a super... Um, super sharp curve. Is that empty? Yeah, I want to. I want to make sure that the neck is still messed. Good. Yeah, this around looks like a very classy-looking Maximilian-inspired, but not exactly Maximilian helmet. Maybe like some sort of burgonette with uh, glutes. That could be pretty cool. Let's 
you can see, like once you add the crest and everything, it really starts to come together. Crest and the visor. It's the simple shapes. It's the simple shapes and structures that really make artwork pop out. A lot of, I think you'll find this in like a lot of games these days. I don't know. Like 3D artists just tack on whatever, anything shiny, anything glowy. Like they're like, fuck it, <laughs> we'll just like stick <laughs> whatever onto the armor. Hopefully, people will think it looks cool. No, that's that's not how you go about making good armor. Like players, players spend hours. Like after work, after school, playing the game that you make, so you gotta have, you gotta put in the time and effort to make something worthwhile to play. bothering me. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, no, it's not supposed to happen. How did that... How did that go? Okay. This is where this is where good geometry uh, is so vital to high poly sculpts. So I can just like select loops from there. That's the rest of it. Uh, that's part of the neck again. And some track. Oh, fuck, I have to go. That's a skip it. That's good. And some more masking. All right. <laughs> now I can I can actually do what I want to do. Just mold that in a bit. instead of mask and mask circle, mask curve, there you go. Uh, subtract, mask. Oh, I don't like that. don't like that bottom bar. I don't know how to disable it though. Well, I haven't really looked very hard. And I like to have all my tools to the to the left here, not to the bottom. There's probably an option somewhere to disable it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Right, so right. that's that's what I want there.
having some sort of uh, bonus to your visibility could be good. Yeah. Although I, I feel like there's. Hmm. I feel like if we add visors, I don't know if Maddox would be content to just like change that as an encumbrance value. He's he likes complex stuff. <laughs> like he'd probably like add some sort of uh, sight mechanic that would also tie into stealth mechanics as well if you have like visors go up and down. <laughs> it's more like something what it's sort of like what not I could do. Uh, let's see, transpose master. I need to cut this bar. Oh, I don't want you. Damn. There we go. That's this. Change the width of the helmet. It does look rather narrow. Anyway, what games are you guys playing? I've been trying to play. I've been playing. Bit of RimWorld. Uh, what else? There's Destiny. I've been playing a bit of Destiny, but it's not like the season is. There's not a whole lot to do in the current season. Mostly just like bounties and grindy, monotonous stuff that makes me feel like I should go and make my own game instead. <laughs> I mean, it's still fun to go do some PvP PvPs in the, in the dire streets of the Crucible. But yeah, not a lot of games that I'm too interested in playing. And I, actually, I, I re-downloaded Skyrim, maybe I can play around with some mods. It's been forever since I did Skyrim modding. <laughs> A bit of <laughs> Yeah, Cool, cool. Banner Lord, Xanima, Banner Lord, Xanima, Mord Howe. I gotta say, Bannerlord looks pretty fun. I, I I get the appeal of it. It's I just feel like it's not really the game for me. I, I'm I guess I'm more of like a uh, RPG guy. Like Exanima and and Skyrim are kind of more like what I enjoy. I mean, Bar I'm sure Bannerlord has like uh, some RPG stuff to it, but. It's like a single player campaign, right? Or, uh, I, I also like the fantasy stuff. It, from what I've seen, Banner Lord just just has historically accurate stuff, which is which is fine. It's just it's not something I'm too hyped about. I did see a video earlier where this guy, he did like an all archer build, which looks pretty, <laughs> pretty uh, toxic. I'm not sure. Is there like PvP in Bannerlord? But you know, I mean, if there's like PvP in Bannerlord, I, I would probably make an all archer build. It looks pretty dope. <laughs> I like I like playing with cowardly tactics. I'm a really toxic and cowardly player in PvP. Like whatever whatever gets me the win, I'll use. Mountain blade mounted combat. Yeah. 
I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Fine. Let's go. Um, two post seven. Okay, we'll deal with it here. Uh, this curve isn't isn't like perfect, and I'm a perfectionist, so I've got to go and perfect it. Get change the smooth down so it's not ridiculously high to the max. Arx Fatalis, I've heard of that. I think I might have played that before. Is it that uh is it that like sci-fi? Is it kind of like the sci-fi one? Where there's like a bunch of portals? It's a super old game, isn't it? Like it's older than Morrowind? Bannerfall, uh, not Banner, <laughs> Daggerfall days. Bannerfall, okay. Alright, Good enough for now. Might get to later steps. Okay. What have to do now? I should divide the cheap bones. Uh, cheap plates. Oh, hold on. Actually, I need to. I want to clean up, um, I should have done that one as T-Post. Let's do that again, T-Post mess. Ah, there we go. Let's mess this part. The chin is a bit too round. It needs to be more pointy. A more pointy chin. Yes, you know, like Chinese aesthetics. Apparently, like a, a pointier chin is considered more attractive in China. I didn't know I didn't know that uh, until until I visited my relatives in China. They're like, oh, oh sharp chin. You get all the ladies. Small protrusion here. Speaking of my sharp cheese. <laughs> a bit too curved, but it's, hmm, hmm, hmm.
Lord how. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Mord Hound's art style. It's too. Wait. Is that. Why is Mord Hound again? There's been so many like medieval games. Mord Hound. It's because they're set up. What is it again? Is it that chivalry duplicate or is it that. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Mord Hound. Okay, I, I, I do kind of like this art style. What I was thinking about was For Honor. Yeah. For Honor. Uh, I don't know. Art style. This isn't. I'm not a big fan of that art style. So. <laughs> but yeah, Mordhau looks... I mean, it looks like a better chivalry, really. Got there making a shift here. All I hear about these days is that new Animal Crossing game. Has anyone played that? It looks like Stardew Valley, which is another game I've never played. <laughs> but probably should, I don't know. I remember in Shiv, I would uh, play the guy with the halberd a lot. That was fun, fun times. Especially if you were really aggressive and you just charged right in when uh, no one was really paying attention to you. You could really take off a few heads with the halberd. I think it was like the Volge or something. Some sort of polearm. Plain old longsword is pretty good too, or the um I don't know if it's called longsword if you get. What really pissed me off about <laughs> Shiv was like the meta of uh, the Manatarms. Like everyone was playing Manatarms this one time and <laughs> They would attack so fast and dodge so fast that they're basically invincible. I'm like, ah, fuck this game. <laughs> I don't want to play in this meta. <laughs> Everyone's just dodge rolling and stabbing you, and my armor does nothing. <laughs> it's like, it's like the Gotha Knight's not even wearing plate. <laughs> but, I was like, oh my god, like. And no game get plate armor right. She just seems like that. She just seems that way. plates, I guess. But first we gotta, gotta cut out the eyeballs. <laughs> to be gruesome about it.
It's always a good idea to make a duplicate of what you're working on. I love Z Modeler guys. Without Z Modeler, there would be no armor. Just add on a few good peaks there. Peaks. Where spaces that looks pretty good. Mm. Let's do that. There we go. Out of the way. Good enough. Hinge is probably a bit far back. Let's see what happens if the rotation is here instead. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, hinge is a bit far back. I'll fix that later. When we get to it, for now we gotta do the cheekbones. Cheekbones. Why do I keep saying cheekbones? Not cheekbones. here is not right. Let's do that instead. Much better. off with this helmet. I got some measurement wrong, but I'll, I'll have to fix it in depots. Is that too fat or something? I don't know. Something's weird. Something's not right. Man, I forgot to make a duplicate of the I'm with the hairy heaviest edge loops here. I'm just gonna have to do that. Man. I thought I was a good armor smith. Guess not guys, I guess not. Where did the visor go? There it is. New bug in Xanima, you can drag offerings from things under the top of the room. Wear them on your head and neck. I don't know what rings are. Drag offerings from things underneath the top of the room. That sounds like a feature to me. Like, are you supposed to put chairs on your head? Everyone knows that chairs are the best defense in Xanima. If 
you didn't know that chairs were the best defense in the cinema. I guess I'm, I'm sorry, but they are. Okay, that looks like a good cheekbone shape. Concave or convex? I don't know. That was... I guess this one's gonna be con concave, convex. It's gonna be concave. No, it should be convex. If I'm gonna put hinges there, it has to be convex. Otherwise, it won't open. Wow. Okay. Wi-Fi masters. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with the stream. I really, really gotta figure it out. Really gotta figure out how to stream better. I need a camera too, so y'all can see my pretty face. That's the main reason you're all here, right? I am a cam girl, after all. Hmm. Yeah, let's see, see where much this. You know what's annoying about ZBrush? Having to say Z in front of everything. Why can't you just say remesh this? <laughs> I should just say remesh everything. Instead of ZBrush, I'll just say uh, brush. Let's call it brush. Fuck. Ah, yeah, turn on uh, key groups. For getting something that's a brush. This is my sure. I always have the wrong setting or something. There we go. Finally. Finally. Thinking how it's going to be attached to the to the uh, gorget articulated gorget. I just make one actually easier that way. Yeah, I'll just make one. <laughs> <laughs> 